it's me, ex-canadensis. Welcome to my slumber party. Hope you got your good PJs on. These are mine. Um, and today, be in honor of my slumber party, we're going to be reviewing one of the slumber party rainbow high dolls. I actually managed to get two of them today. Here is the doll hunt. <gasps> no way. Y'all. Oh, they have both. Oh, they have both. Oh my god. I didn't even expect them to have Brianna. Brianna was the one that the site said. <laughs> I'm really excited. I only expected to get one today. So I went because BrickSeek, which is like a inventory checking website, said that Brianna was in stock in Pennsylvania, which is about 40 minutes away from where I live, um, an hour away for that specific Walmart. So I got her and surprisingly Robin was there too so because she was the one that I expected to get today I'm gonna to be unboxing her first but I'm really excited about Robin Robin was my favorite from the get-go uh, and yeah slumber party themes are one of my favorites I'm really really excited to meet these dolls and I think all three of them specifically these two are some of the best looking rainbow high designs ever the outfits are incredible the base dolls themselves are incredible I am so ready for this I'm so excited so yeah I'm going to be getting her out of the box, and when we return, we will look at her up close. I will see you there. She's amazing. I know you expected me to say that, but hear me out. I don't know how they're doing it, but Rainbow High, with each subsequent release, gets like 50 times better. I don't know how they do it, but they improve so much on the quality and the details and the designs and the new face molds and the diversity is increasing so much. I am seriously so impressed. I don't know how we are this lucky to live on this planet in this time when Rainbow High exists, but I am so grateful. Sh Brianna's amazing. I knew I was gonna love her. Robin was my favorite from the initial pictures and she might still be, we'll see. Um, but wow, this doll is seriously special, y'all. Like, I don't know where to begin. Look at her. I love that she's using one of the new face molds. I just prefer the new face molds over the old ones. They're, they're just so far superior. I think she looks amazing. Her makeup is very simple and it makes sense it's a slumber party. It's still very like interesting and eye-catching, but at the same time, it's not like in your face. Like, ah, I'm wearing makeup, you know? Look at it with the gold and the white and the pink. It's very pretty and I like that it's not as dramatic like up to the eyebrows like they normally are. Um, just because it makes it more toned down and it gives her a different look for the slumber party and I think it's really nice. She has Bella's light purple eyes, I believe. I really like Bella's light purple eyes actually, so I'm happy to see them again. I don't think it's great that we're getting them um, on two pink dolls in a row and those are the only times we've ever seen these eyes. They might be in the Rockstar line, I haven't really looked that closely. Anyway, I don't mind, I think they look amazing here. I love her little freckles too. Okay, so... Nothing against red-haired dolls with freckles, but we've seen enough. There's a million of them. Seeing a doll like this with freckles is so, so cool, and I really appreciate it, and it's going to be so exciting for people that look like her to be able to have a doll this nice and this, like, interesting and beautiful that looks like them. I think that's so special and fun. This is such a spectacular doll. I really like the way they did her lips too. It's very interesting. It's like a normal matte paint, but then they've put this like peach gloss over it and it's it's really pretty. I'm gonna be turning the camera around and giving you like a nice um, lowdown on her separately so that you can get a better look at her. I know this isn't the best format. I just like to talk to you guys about her directly. She has earrings. These earrings are the worst so far. I'm fine with the design. I don't know what they're referencing. They're very interesting. They almost look like, like, signs on a door they have this pink pearl and then see how it, oh, it almost looks like like a marquee letter and it says r and h the reason i say these are the worst is because the posts are somehow shorter than every other rainbow high earring i don't know how they did that because they were already too short um they're shorter and they don't even like fit in the ears i don't know if it's just that mine doesn't have her ears pierced correctly or what but you see how they're sticking out like that so i'm just gonna take these off i'm not a big fan of earrings on rainbow high dolls anyway i just prefer them without it for whatever reason, so we're just gonna leave it out. Her hair, I love the cotton candy pink color. I know we've gotten a million pink dolls, but somehow the pink dolls are the best ones. Sorry, except Bella, in my opinion. But she is another pink doll. 
but I love it. I love her cotton candy pink hair so much. I'm not even one of those people that like pink is my whole world. Pink isn't even my favorite color, but every single pink rainbow hide all ends up being amazing. I don't know what to tell you. Love the eye mask as well. It's embroidered. It's really nice. It has, it's gotta be referencing something specific. It's really interesting and fancy. Look at that gold embroidery and it has that trim and a liner and an elastic like cord on it. It's really nice. And her, her hair is so poofy and soft. Unfortunately though, it's gelled. We're back to the, the hard glue as you can see. And it's on these as well. It's actually really like solid here. So stay tuned because we're going to be doing a hair washing slash styling video. So yay. But I thought we were done with the hair gel MGA. What's going on with the hair gel? They gave us series three and they were like, there you go less hair gel but now we're gonna go back to it i get it it makes box presentation easier but even then like look how messy mine came i don't know anyway she's wearing a robe i love robes slumber party doll lines are generally my favorite i just think they're very fun but i don't know we don't normally get really interesting robes slumber party from bratz there's probably some barbie lines i don't know ever after i had forgetting fairest had robes but like they were fine they were just kind of there they weren't super special this robe is spectacular. It's very realistic. It's made out of a towel material. It has this really nice, really, really nice fabric. I don't know what, is this brocade fabric? Is that what it's called as well? I'm not sure what it's called. I'm sorry about that. Um, the pull string and then also the trim here and the sleeves have it and the pockets, there's little pockets and they are real working pockets and they have it as well. So, so nice. This is such an impressive piece. She has this little like sports bra type crop top it reminds me of like a calvin klein with the the band having that on it but it's probably not meant to be spoofing that because i would be able to tell if it was because it would be more obvious i would think and then the shorts the shorts <laughs> these aren't even really visible on the doll when you have the outfit the way they intend for it to be and on the shelf but look how impressive these shorts are they're so detailed Look at this and the way like the waistband and the pocket are a different material and like look at all this detail and of course yes that is a working drawstring I've pulled on it I'm 90% sure it is because if I pull on it I get more string and if I let it go the string goes back in <clears throat> so that's a working drawstring again they keep giving us such amazing details like that it's so cool this doll's so beautiful here are her little socks love these super realistic these were super trendy when I was in middle school and high school um so I have them I'm sure they still are trendy because they're adorable. And then she has little bears as her slippers. These are weird because they're they're the same as the Na 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 ones. They are a new mold, at least in part, because it says RH. I'm not sure on the pause. And these are cute, but like, they're very like hard. They're very strange. They don't look like slippers. When they're on the feet, it's fine. And I don't mind them. I think they're cute, but they're definitely like a different take on slippers. Still adorable, still love them. Alrighty, so that is is what she looks like. Next, I'm going to show you like just a better look at her. And then after that, I'm going to change her outfit and show you everything else she comes what with. Brianna looks like up close. There's her beautiful face. Moving down. I wasn't expecting the straps to be ribbons. I just thought they would continue with the same fabric. That's really impressive. Again, another detail that was completely like not noticeable from the packaging. Of course, there's working so or, um, working pockets. Really, really cool shorts. I love them. Then, moving on down, we have her socks. And, of course, her really interesting slippers. She does come with the hangers, of course. There's the rainbow hanger. And the pants hanger. And then, here is the robe up close. Without her hair and stuff obscuring all the details. Such a cool piece. I'm really excited about this one. It's going to be so fun to play with. Alrighty, now I'm going to switch her into her other outfit. She's so cute, look at her! Oh my god. We are back and Brianna is in her second outfit. I have a few notes for you guys. First of all, only two clothing pieces in this entire situation have Velcro on them. And they are the two tops. The shorts have working tied drawstrings. So they're like real shorts and real pants. I'm terrible at tying bows, so I usually prefer that when there's like Velcro and a fake bow that's like sewn in place, but the level of realism and detail, I cannot let go unrecognized. It's amazing. I seriously can't believe they did that. It takes so much extra work instead of just slapping Velcro there to do this. And 
it's really impressive I really appreciate it she has a little tracksuit on and I love tracksuits I think they're amazing and I'm really surprised she has one actually because normally like brats the only dolls that had tracksuits were the moms or at least Yasmin's mom had one I'm not sure what the other mom was wearing to be honest um they're actually quite rare in doll lines like that's the only doll tracksuit I can think of off the top of my head a couple of my scene dolls had them but anyway seeing one in current day in this high of quality is really really cool it has an actual little plastic zipper pull that says R on it of course because we're never gonna give up the R's and the H's she has this plastic zipper track it's fake of course but it's very cute and it gets the message across and it's clearly supposed to be Juicy Couture inspired because it's got that big like royal crown on the back and it says rainbow high I love it it's very cute I don't know what the accent I transitioned into was but it was something and then of course it says rainbow across the butt super cute and it's made out of a soft material it's definitely not like velvety like velour but it's really soft and plush feeling I like it and then she has this undershirt that says rainbow high and gold lettering I would probably prefer to pair this tracksuit with a white shirt underneath just because I think there's a lot of pink going on here that is completely un um separated but it's really really cute and these rainbow high dolls I have a million shirts that I can try with it that I will love and here's the little sh pants they're almost like a low-rise fit most rainbow high shorts and skirts and stuff tend to be kind of high-waisted so I like this low-rise fit on her I think it looks super super cute and this has working pockets which I never expect working pockets but in this specific circumstance I definitely didn't expect working pockets but they gave them to us anyway and then she has these cute little heels that say magic on them which is a word we don't really see in rainbow high we usually see rainbow sparkle ma um I almost said magic magic is the new word the point is like we never see this and look it says magic and the inside says rainbow as well I, mean, I assume the other one says hi no they both say rainbow really really cute and I love the like jelly material that they've used here to make it translucent it's so cute she's so cute next I'm going to turn the camera around to show you her sleeping bag as well as her second outfit up close I will be right back so here she is in the better quality camera in her second outfit I really really love it I like that it has a little bit of a purple tone so it stands out a bit from her hair I think it'll look really good on the other rainbow high dolls as well I'm really excited to try it on them because personally I just prefer the first outfit with the robe and these amazing shorts but oh my gosh this is such a nice outfit let me give you the 360 absolutely beautiful and look at that face I can't get over it look at her she's so sweet and here's the jacket a little bit more closed and I forgot to mention but it does have a little hood it definitely is not gonna fit over her head but it's probably the closest we've gotten so far to a fitting hoodie I don't expect them to ever actually do that but it would be cool and it is fun and then playing on her bubblegum pink motif I've never seen a color confirmed for her but she is very bubblegum pink and never let anyone burst your bubble is embroidered onto her pillow it's a nice little pillow I legally they have to include this on like stuffed animals so I get it but they have actually pinned it back for me which I appreciate because ah, as much as I don't care about resale value of my dolls or like what other people think of my dolls for some reason I can't bring myself to cut tags off of things like I don't know <laughs> and then the sl sleeping bag is very oh it has these little plastic things inside I didn't realize it's very very similar to the na 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 slumber party dolls which I also very much loved did I say in that review that I wanted slumber party rainbow high dolls by the way because I'm pretty sure I did <laughs> Uh, it's really similar it's super high quality it's got lining it has a working zipper which is so cool see and it's pinned open but I kind of like it like that so I'm gonna leave it there but it's got these little bubblegum creatures all over that have they're blowing bubbles they have heterochromia wouldn't it have been cool if Brianna had had a blue and a green eye like that so pretty I hope they do uh, represent heterochromia in the doll line at some point I think it would be really interesting and then says right rh on that that's definitely a mold that's been used before and then it has these little things so that you can actually like i'm not gonna be able to do it very effectively because i have the plastic inside but you can roll it up and then she can wear it as a backpack which is another really cool detail that they didn't have to do and it's quilted so so nice all right now for the final part my final closing thoughts let's go i'm truly blown away truly I'm always blown away with Rainbow High, but each review that I do of one is compared to the last in my brain, and 
I don't understand how Rainbow High gets so much better each round, but, and this is nothing against the doll herself because I think she is truly such a beautiful, interesting, incredible, high quality, well designed, well detailed, well executed doll. So nothing I'm saying right now has anything against the doll herself. I need to talk the price point. So I've been saying since the beginning of Rainbow High publicly and privately that I think $26 to $28 that they retail for is an absolute steal. So when cheer dolls were $23 each, even though they didn't come with a second outfit, so compared to the normal like first and second edition dolls, they were expensive. I still thought, you know what, that is more than fair for this doll if I'm not comparing her to the other Rainbow High dolls. But here we are. When Jet Dawson came out and when Kaya Hart came out, I looked at it and I was like, you know what, I love these dolls. These are some special fun release. They're meant to be like special. They're meant to be like the chase sort of doll. I get it. I'm willing to spend a little bit more on them. Totally fine. Uh, Jet had the extra articulation. She had the extra accessories. Kaya's outfits were so, so detailed and she was the first special edition one. With these, these, this is a line of three dolls that are being released at the same time at the premium price point and they are store exclusives. But I think the $50 price point is a bit much. I think they're incredible quality. I don't know the cost to produce. This is just coming from me as a consumer, as a collector, as somebody who does buy dolls for kids as well. 50 is a lot of money. I don't know the exact age group that they're targeting with these dolls, but I figure around the 8 to 12 range, they're really expensive. These are expensive dolls. And again, I, I don't know how to feel about this because... Again, I think $30 for the Series 1, Series 2, Series 3 dolls is a steal. And I think $35 for the Winter Break dolls is a fantastic deal too because you get the two outfits, they're both highly detailed. The two outfits actually have like extra pieces that the normal dolls won't have, like they have the big like crazy winter gear. And then they also had like head accessories, their shoes were interesting, they had extra finishes on their clothes. Clearly the higher budget contributed to the higher quality on the Winter Break dolls. And they came with the winter like sports equipment $35 I feel like was fair for them I don't think it was an exceptionally good deal but I think it was fair like I was willing to pay 35 I didn't sweat about it the slumber party girls <laughs> I thought they were going to be 35 as well there were rumors going around about the price there were listings for them at 35 there were listings for them at 50 I thought 35 was really fair actually I thought 35 was honestly like a great deal for these I think that these I feel like the quality of these pieces is probably higher, like the cost to produce these is probably higher than the winter sports equipment. So I thought 35 was like right on the money for these. I thought it was a great price. But they're 50, they're $50 each. And don't get me wrong, when I compare my dolls that I've spent $20 on, my dolls that I've spent $50 on, my doll, Fifty dollars on my dolls that I spent a hundred dollars on my dolls that I spent eight hundred dollars on my doll that I spent seven hundred on sorry I think that 50 is a fair price I do the quality what we're actually getting all the different accessories the two outfits compared to a pull-up doll which you pay like close to 200 now for I think great price great quality gives you a lot really really fantastic doll but $50 at a play for a Playline doll that, it's not technically a playset, it's just an extra accessory, I think is a lot. So I'm worried about these. I do think that if, I do completely understand if you think 50 is outrageous and you're not willing to spend it. For me, it's going to be harder to justify and I'm probably not going to buy doubles and triples of these unless they go on clearance. Um, but I can understand that these lines are probably going to be make or break. For a lot of people, it's going to be like, I can only afford one or I can't afford any because it's just not feasible and I get it. Because you can get, for this $50 price, you can get almost two normal release Rainbow High Dolls, which gives you four total outfits and two whole dolls. So it's like, and this isn't criticism because I assume that this price is set this way for a reason. The rocker dolls honestly make less sense to me. I'll have to see them in person, but the instruments don't seem to justify the price. I do think that these are a bit better of a justification of the price. I'm not sure how to feel. Let me know how you feel about these. For me as a doll collector, as a long time doll collector, $50 for a doll of this quality is honestly a good deal. I think this is a great price.
But I don't know. I just think that it's a little bit concerning for the longevity of the line if they're going to keep raising the prices like this. I think it's going to scare a lot of people away, and I really hope that that's not the case because these dolls are seriously incredible. And I understand that MGA doesn't expect anyone to buy multiples. Um, they don't expect anyone to buy every single doll in the line. They kind of, they release as many dolls as they can in hopes that one or two will catch the eyes of people and they'll bring those home. That's kind of how doll lines work. I think there's this misconception when people are like, oh my god, they're releasing too many dolls too quickly. And it's like, they don't expect any kid or any adult or any collector to buy every single one. Some people do that, of course, I do that. But, like, Monster High, if, if you remember, Monster High and Bratz released probably 50 to 100 dolls every single year. And maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Probably like 50 dolls a year or more. I could count. It's probably quite a, it's a, it's a lot. Plus merchandise, plus fashion packs, plus play sets, plus big play sets like the schools and stuff. So I'm not bothered by the frequency of the releases. It is frustrating for me as someone who is really excited, wants to get them first, wants to review them for you guys, wants to have them all immediately. It is frustrating in that point, but that's me wanting to collect them all, so I'm not going to criticize them for that. I honestly appreciate that they're releasing more. I am worried, though, because they there isn't a single Rainbow High doll right now that isn't being continually produced, so I think the shelves are going to start to get really packed, and we're going to start seeing really harsh clearances, and I hope that that doesn't hurt the brand. That's kind of what happened to Monster High, is that they way oversaturated the market, and that's what caused the downfall, that's what caused the reboot and all this stuff, so... I am worried in that sense, but I think MGA knows what they're doing. LOL OMG has been doing this, and they're doing fine. They release more than Rainbow High, I feel like. Maybe. At least they did. Um, yeah, I just wanted to include this discussion at the end, because I'd love to know your thoughts as collectors or as gift buyers or something. What do you think? And again, just for me, in terms of my experience and my... I guess the way I value my dolls, I think 50 is fair. I'm willing to spend it. I'm totally fine with it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I kind of understood the rockers being 50 because Target always has toy sales around this time of year. They're released. These are clearly supposed to be Christmas items, not these, the, the rockers. They're clearly supposed to be Christmas items. Target all the time has those sales where you get like $25 off $100. So that's probably why they're priced a little bit higher if I had to guess, but I don't know. These are very interesting with this price point. I wonder if it's going to adjust. I think 45 even would have been fair, but they're $50. 40, 35, 40, 45 is pushing it. 50 is like, I don't know. Cause I feel like as a kid seeing all three on the back of the box, I'd be like, man, I want all these, but I don't think I would have gotten all of these. I think I would have gotten to pick one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, I really want to make it abundantly clear that this is not a negative part of the review. It's just kind of something I wanted to discuss. I don't normally talk about the price point of the dolls on my channel because I don't know. It is obviously something I consider when I'm buying dolls, but personally it's like, it's Rainbow High, I'm gonna buy it at this point. I love them. They make me really happy and my channel isn't necessarily supposed to be about like, look at money, this is how much my collection costs, that kind of thing. I normally, I normally just tell you how much something costs and then move on. I don't really like to dwell on it, but for this, review I'm making the exception because I don't know I don't know but I buy those $140 limited edition Disney dolls that are not this high quality so <laughs> anyway I'm really really happy with her and I'm so excited to add her to my collection and I'm so excited to add Robin to my collection as well and eventually Marissa and eventually the Rockers I love them and I just thought that it needed to be said because this is the first time that I've actually been a little bit worried about the price. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'm sure we have plenty to talk about in the comments, so I will see you there <laughs> for all this time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Wait. Bye! <laughs>